What's up? What's up? What's up? You too. Hey, we back at it. Live with a video. Live with a discussion. A topic. How to get into the trucking industry. Box truck. Yes, box truck. So, um, Richard, did you just do the box sample? <laughs> That's so old. <laughs> yeah, you boxed. <laughs> oh my god. But um oh my god, you threw me off. <laughs> what was I saying? Okay, so yeah, um we're gonna talk to y'all today about the box truck um business. So um step number one, we're just gonna keep it um short and simple. We'll probably do videos about you know going more into depth about getting your authority which is step number one um you want to get your authority um actually it's a step you can take prior to that which is your llc so you want to have everything structured legally um and set in place so that you don't run into trouble in the long run so we're going to fast forward to getting our authority we got our insurance and everything boc3 ucr you guys know the whole spill so once we got everything situated we had everything except a vehicle and yes you can get your authority without a vehicle it's a um, slight trick to it if you google on youtube you may be able to figure out the trick or maybe we'll make a video about that too but we Should had we put them up on game nah not yet but yeah we had an active authority with no truck so um but yeah so we were looking for a box truck because we just didn't have a lot of luck with finding semi trucks because they were harder to find than the box trucks um either the price was too high or either they were not in good condition or we were finding like major leaks so it was just something that was going on with it so um we decided to rent a box truck uh, from being in the box truck group i seen a lot of people saying box truck business where it's at they make it five six thousand dollars a week now some people are making that but um they they're hustling like they are really hustling they're teaming you got to really know what you're doing you and you got to be niched to make it in that field um and it's it's a trick to finding the loads which you will do a video about that as well you have to just put in a certain um sentence when you're on that and truck stop to make the box truck loads come in or you could put in the dimensions of the box truck that you have and that'll also make box truck loads appear so um we got our authority and then what we called penske rider um they wanted a whole bag just now. about everybody some people were like um how long have you been in business we'll tell them two years or whatever because we were using the prior llc that we had and they'll be like ten thousand down uh fifteen thousand down just crazy numbers so we just kept calling we kept calling and we ended up going outside of jacksonville because jacksonville is really popular for box trucks due to the fact that we have amazon all over the place amazon here there. um we have like i think what is it called the hub or something we, hub, then we got other we got like five main um locations that they that they dispatch out of yeah here in jacksonville alone so you have people coming to jacksonville for work specifically so we thought okay well if jacksonville is saturated and everybody's getting the trucks we're gonna go outside of jacksonville so we went outside of jacksonville to georgia mm -hmm. and a lot of them told us that we couldn't we they had box trucks but we could not run them um out of state so that was a roadblock so make sure if they say they have a box truck do not fly there do not drive there make sure you ask them are you are you able to take that box truck out of state unless you're gonna thug it but yeah that's on you you don't want to ruin your authority trying to thug it so um next we went even further out we went to what alabama, alabama. and we're just calling we just calling penskis we calling um, enterprise. riders enterprise just about anybody yeah they, they had a long waiting list too yeah we had, it was actually on a couple of uh different waiting lists and all of that but um you idiot we just happened to call uh, a franchised uh pinsky and they ended up letting us 
get a truck to have one coming in. No, the same but day. we calling, we calling, we calling, we calling different. They just telling us no, wait list, no, wait list, no, wait list. We called at least, I would say, 30, 30 40, <laughs> 40 times different rental companies, and we all got that same answer. Either we can put you on the waiting list or no. If you're looking for a box truck, tell them to put you on the wait list if they're telling you no because when somebody as soon as they bring a truck back they're going to call the next person that's on that wait list and then they're going to give you a truck the next so, person could be you yeah next person could be you we actually got called like the next day after we found our truck and um at that point we had already had a truck and then we didn't have a driver so and then we didn't really know what we were doing in the box game and we wanted to just um get that one truck on the road so we calling we calling and we ended up finding a small franchise like he said and she was like well yeah actually we got a guy bringing a box truck in what was that Today. day and we was like what it was like look at god so you know, um, with my dad's yeah like we were excited because after hearing just no 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 do not let that discourage you it was like oh, do hallelujah. not let that discourage you you have to be persistent and you have to keep going and we finally got that yes so um he turned he turned on his little charismatic behavior and you know built report with the lady and was like well we'll come and get it you know as soon as the guy drop it off we'll come and get it she's like okay she's she called us and everything as soon as he dropped it off she was like it's back i think he's outside now so she ended up calling us when did we go get it she the next, day? next morning yeah. yeah the next morning and we were like hella excited and we went we picked up the box truck as you guys seen in the video now before you go and pick up the box truck um they're gonna want you to put what it is their business on your um on your insurance your coi, COI. You know, on your coi they're gonna have different like requirements they're gonna want you to have a certain amount of insurance you're gonna have to have an active authority you're gonna have to have your EIN number. You're gonna need a credit card, a business credit card. Now, here's a little game. You don't actually have to have like a business credit card. They just need you to have a business debit card. So I know that scared a lot of people away in one of the groups that I was in. People shied away from renting a box truck because they felt like you had to have a high limit business credit card. You don't. He took the regular business debit card and we put the deposit down on it which this was, guy yeah which was what the deposit was um i think it was five thousand yeah the deposit was five thousand and you had to have a uh a cashier's check yeah now when you return that that when you return your box truck if you return it that same cashier's check you took up there they're gonna give it back so okay. that just the whole because a lot of guys get these box trucks and they blow the roof off of it literally yeah so they're gonna go for that deposit first and then they probably gonna hit your insurance if you mess up these people truck so that's what that was um once we got the truck he got a load like the same day i think you got a load right box truck yeah yeah we jumped on that we were using that and it's a guy's video on youtube i'll try to see if i can drop it below but he literally tells you and that also has a, vi a video telling you how to get um special loads and how you put in like your dimensions and how you put in straight box truck and it'll pull up all the box truck loads the thing and the problem that we ran into the most where they were telling us it was listed as a straight box truck but either it was like reefer loads that were paying real good or you had to have a vented box truck those paid real good or uh, just basically Blankets. like yeah blanket wrapped like niche niches niches however you want to say it you had to have a niche to really make money i feel in the box truck industry you find your niche you get rich basically but when we started doing the calculations for them box truck loads now keep in mind he's been driving tractor trailers for what going on six years going on six years now yep so going to a box truck was a struggle for me to watch for him because he wasn't really on board with it because he's like why am i driving a box truck and i got a class a which i felt that 
So I was like, it hurt me to my heart. It, it hurt him. He he slung that little business bag across his shoulders and he walked to the truck real. Now I was that bit like a sad puppy. <laughs> it was exciting at first. Don't get us wrong. I mean, the entrepreneurship. It was it was yeah. exciting because I was doing something on my own. So under our own authority. You know, so it was exciting. Don't get it wrong, but it was the fact just knowing that you can do more is what we're getting at. So um, he ran the first load or whatnot, and it paid what? <laughs> it like five, six hundred dollars. But it took how long? Too long, like eight hours, something like that. Now you got to keep in mind, some people make that in a week, not even that. Some yeah. people, most people. Yeah, but you know. So that's not bad, y'all. Six, eight hundred dollars for one load in one day. Box truck. So, I mean, it depends on how you look at it. Now, semi, you know, that that's another story. I'm used to the semi money. That was love money. So we ran that one load, and it was just a struggle getting... Getting going. Getting consistent loads. It, it could have been that we didn't really have experience with the box trucks. Um, and that's what LTL freight anyway. So it was like we were used to communicating with brokers they had you know ltl loads full truck loads or whatever so did you run another load after that yeah we started running amazon yeah and we did get signed up with amazon we made sure our insurance matched up for amazon we started running for amazon the trick to amazon is free game catch the last minute loads because they're gonna throw a lot of bull on the load prices boards. go up those prices be stupid i'm talking about um four five six dollars a mile sometimes more depending on because people cancel loads at the last minute so they're going to throw that load on the load board and you just be right over there by amazon that way you can go ahead and hit it book it and be out of there and then you in there and then, your score, it. and then your score will go up and then they're going to give you access to more loads and you might even get um a route i think they're trying to do um, they're trying to get rid of owner operators is what it's looking like. So I don't know. They're trying to bring in their own trucks. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their trucks. Too. Yeah, I keep seeing box trucks. Amazon box trucks now. So I don't know. Be careful with that. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. It just depends on Amazon because they're not going to always be paying like that. I mean, hell, they barely paying now. So that's why we don't mess with them. Our insurance is not even matched up to Amazon anymore. We don't pull no Amazon loads for what we do now. But back to the box truck, um, eventually, we turned it back in. So, <laughs> that's what happened. I was going to take it back with 100,000 miles on it, but unfortunately... Took it back with a, with 10,000 and what? We got it with 10,000. We got it with 10,000. I, I probably took it back with 10,099. I ain't, I ain't drive far, to be honest with you. I do not drive far. Yeah, so. And be aware, every mile you drive in that box truck, you gotta pay. Plus, so you gotta pay your your your, your weekly, um, whatever yeah. your weekly rate is. Plus, you gotta pay for the miles that you put on that truck. So. So that eats away at your profit. So the six hundred by the time you deduct fuel from that. And then, um, oh, and you got a truck note to deduct from that too. So, I mean, 600 is good money, but that's not all profit. So, you running. You running until you hit, you know, your insurance. And you got an insurance payment. So, you are really out there hustling to meet everything. At the time, our insurance was like $4,000 a month. So. Right. $4,000 a month. Progressive. The one and only. So anyway, long story short, we gave, um, who was that through? Penske? No. Who's that? Ryder, the truck. The truck was through uh, Penske. Penske. We took Penske Day truck back. And if you are looking to go the box truck route, make sure it's at least a 26 foot and you have a lift gate. And if you're going to run for Amazon, they require a lift gate. Some people um, get away without having a lift gate but I wouldn't chance it paying that much a week for a truck and I think it was like six seven hundred dollars a week yeah on top of the miles or average about eight hundred so that load paid for yeah. that week not even <laughs> after you take out fuel 
If that was the only load you ran, I mean, that. No. You gotta hustle. <laughs> you gotta hustle. Like, yeah. You gotta get out there and grind. Like, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna get it. So. But I tell you this: if you did that every day, and you maybe teaming with somebody, then yeah, y'all better quit them jobs to get out there and hustle. If you're doing it that way, yeah, you can make you know real good money. But as far as you trying to do it yourself, and you only working, you only you know operating off an 11 hour DOT clock, then you're gonna be doing something illegal in order to make your money. Playing I'm with laws. You're gonna play with some laws. But um, yeah, I mean it's. It's a blessing. Like, if you're able, get your authority. Women, um, men, anybody, you know, who got a straight driving record and who's able to obtain insurance and who can save. If you work in a job now, save you some money up and come up with your deposit for a box truck and your authority and your insurance down payment. And get out there and try it. And you can even, like do that and work your job because I would never tell anybody to quit their job if they don't know for sure because that might not be something you might not even like because it's a hustle like you're not just they're not just giving that six hundred dollars to you you got to work for it and then you got to get a pallet jack so you know what that means if you need a pallet jack on your truck you should do a little bit of work pallet jack straps e straps <laughs> you you gonna do a little bit of work so don't you name it don't think it's just gonna be easy money but to me as long as I'm not punching somebody clock, I'm I'm in. Like now that's the benefit. Count me in. We were I've always made my own schedule like for as long as I can remember, like, but we just can't do it. Like <laughs> if you have the ability to save you up some money and go into business for your stuff. And you get them 600s back to back. And some of them loads pay real good. And keep in mind, the holidays coming up. So they're going to be paying extremely good. Extremely good. Extremely good. They're going to be throwing stuff at you. So if you go get into the box truck business, we recommend that you get an LLC, get your authority, get some insurance that allows you to work the loads that will be paid loads. So that's the niche. Some niches require you to have at least um, seven hundred and fifty thousand. I know the FMSCA um, requires you to have seven hundred and fifty thousand for your authority to go active. Some brokers require you to have a million. Some require you to have more than that. So it just depends. Whatever you're trying to do, just look into it. Do the research on it before you just make the ultimate decision. Yeah, don't do something just because you see somebody else doing it. Make sure that that's something that you're going to be able to do or something that you're going to like. Even if you got to try different things, don't just be like, oh, refrigerator make a lot of money because they got refrigerated box truck loads that pay pretty good. But you got to keep in mind, if you not good at remembering things and you don't remember that this um, reefer need to be at negative 26 degrees and you mess up these people's stuff, coming out of your pocket. Your so, pocket. So if you know you're forgetful, you better leave that refrigerated um, niche alone. Leave them alone. It's not for you. Stick the dry van. You know? Something like that. Something like that. But yeah. LLC, Authority, Call Up, the uh, rental companies, ask them do they got box trucks. They say no. Tell them to put you on the wait list. Keep it moving. And keep going every day. Just because one person will tell you no. Just because 100 people tell you no. Don't stop. Never if you stop. stop, you ain't going to never get what you want. Keep going. You're going to be a loser. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> that's all you do. Like, that's literally it. And then you go on the load board. You can look at a thousand load board videos, but you're never going to understand how the load board work, how to talk to brokers, unless you do it. I can I know that for experience. It's called analysis paralysis. I done found a sweet spot, baby. You look at video after video after video after video after video, but then you get on the phone and you freeze. You like uh, uh, I'm, um, uh, I'm calling about your load going uh uh. But guess what? If you do that 50 times, you're not gonna be like, yeah, this is such and such calling from Baker Freight Systems. 
LLC and we're calling about your load coming from Jacksonville, Florida to blah, 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 blah. You just running with it. I see you got a postal for $14.50. I can do that for you for $16. And from there, it's negotiation. And now you making the big money. And they don't talk me down. I ain't negotiating right. If it don't sound right, oh, okay, thank you for your time. I'll give you a call back. And half the time, they'll call you back because guess what? They need that load move. But you can't learn that looking at YouTube videos or, or, or unless somebody like us tell you, basically. Like we just told you. But it ain't too many people going to tell you that. They're going to give you a strip. They want you to sound professional. You need to learn how to talk to them because I'm going to tell you right now, it's some brokers going to call us to hustle this. And I'm like, dang, that was good. We done gave them our phone number, our email. Just about all, all the information. Because they was just that good with words. But that didn't come from looking at YouTube videos. That didn't come from reading a thousand books. That came from actually being out there getting reading and, and looking, but actually doing as well. So that's really it, y'all. Um, we've moved on from the box truck business. We're now in the semi game. <laughs> found our niche. We've definitely yeah, we found our get niche. rich. <laughs> we're Woo! We're going to get wealthy, not rich. The goal is not to be rich. The goal is to be wealthy. So, um, yeah. Anything else? No. Peace, love, and happiness. Y'all have a good day. <laughs>